So the and that has created something of a chicken and egg debate. Some people are saying which came first, did the Super Bowl make the Ice Palace possible or is the Ice Palace bring, responsible for bringing the Super Bowl here? Well, either way you look at it, you can't deny the impact of the big game. Minnesota, Super Bowl 26, fire and ice. The Super Bowl task force borrowed a Winter Carnival theme to sell the NFL owners on Minnesota, and they promised them fun in St. Paul. And in 1992, we're going to do it up especially right. We'll build for you the biggest ice castle that any of you have ever seen. It's easy to make a promise. It's a lot harder to keep it. While volunteer labor built the last ice castle, this year's Super Bowl timetables required changes. We knew that uh, the window to showcase this was going to be more limited with the Super Bowl uh, happening on the first Sunday night. So we, I think, decided early on that we were going to have to obtain sponsorship for this and uh, pay for more of the things than we did in 1986. Like paying most of the people who make it happen. I'm building a palace. <laughs> the castle became a palace thanks to the Pepsi people, and the hometown carnival has turned into a world-class event. Well, this year the Winter Carnival itself has a much higher profile because of the Super Bowl. As a result, it seemed fitting to us that our involvement would be at a much higher level as well. A world-class event doesn't come cheap. The palace and nearby events will cost a million dollars. Pepsi's picking up the biggest chunk. Other supporting sponsors pay the rest. Big money sponsors mean big money access. These hospitality tents will give sponsors a place to wine and dine corporate honchos right in front of the icy edifice. It's a system Minnesotans have seen before. During the U.S. Open, corporate tents hosted dozens of private parties. The Winter Carnival tents will be similar, but the public won't be left out. Most of the palace tents will be open to everyone. St. Paul Winter Carnival. Tying this year's event to the Super Bowl has brought super pressure to create a super carnival. Just ask the staff. And he needs to fax over our certificate of insurance. I thought we were doing like three or four big pieces. He can't do three inch size. Well, I think we should go down to a two and a half. We'll need a permit from him for heat for the generator. We're really doing three festivals in terms of the level of sponsorship, the level of expenditure, and the level of effort. Despite the added hype, most of the carnival will be the same. Klondike Kate will still be there, as will the ice slide. These scenes will be shown to an international audience of nearly a billion people. And for at least one weekend, visitors will see a difference. There'll be a lot of corporate tour groups in town, um, a lot of international visitors. So I think they will sense that difference. These, these aren't going to be just Minnesota folks this year. There's going to be a lot of people here. Luckily right now, most of those people are outside and we've got lots of space here inside the Pepsi tent. There is another part of this tent, I should tell you, and that part is open to the public. They have a Pepsi museum. And as I said, most of the tents out here do have an area so that the public can get in from the cold. Indeed, this, is, uh, this has been a good day. You guys having fun? Yeah. yeah. Okay, they're having fun and we'll have a little bit more later on in the show. <laughs> they're inside guys warm. Fun. Inside warm watching TV. That's right. <laughs> They've got a great seat. You know, we mentioned earlier that the Super Bowl has brought media from around the world to uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul. And some of those organizations are set up right next door to us. Asher Blake has more on that. That's right. We've got a pretty good seat out here, too. It's not that warm and we don't have a TV, but it's not that bad. I've got some friends out here. This is Shinichi from Japan and this is Alex from New York who's here to help Shinichi. And we're going to talk about the Ice Palace right now. Shinichi, what do you think of what's going on here and of the Ice Palace? あの、アイスパラスは今こうなってる前は印象はどうですかね。思ってたより uh, he, it was, uh, he said it was much bigger, you know, when, what he saw. He was just, you know, anxious to see the lights, the fire. Okay, well, he'll see that in about the, the 20, 20 minutes. One last thing. Okay, come on, show me. We talked about this earlier. What do you have on? He bought these two hours ago. Yeah. Long underwear. Uh -huh. Are you warm now? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's staying warm. I'll give him one of my hand warmers, too. We'll be fine. Back to you. All right, Asha. Thanks very much. You know, 
The crowd, as we said, is quite large now, and uh, just about everybody here, it seems, has either a video cam or Absolutely. a camera. That's because they're waiting for the big official They started early. Yeah. When we arrived, I ran into a gentleman from Plymouth, Minnesota. He was recording it for his family, and he brought friends up from southern Minnesota. So That's great. Making sure that he had a good shot ahead of time. Now, let's take another look at the Palace Lighting Countdown Clock. We're only about 15 minutes away from making history the biggest ice palace ever. But before that happens, you'll see what some people will do to get a look at the palace. Here's another frozen fact in the meantime. flexible and that makes for a better experience with us all year round chase profit from the experience hungry try one of the all-new ultimates from Emmett's for only $2.99 three farm fresh eggs that's right three with your choice of hickory smoked ham or hardwood cured bacon and country sausage plus buttermilk pancakes or French toast. The all-new Ultimates from Embers, just $2.99. There's only one place for food this good. Embers. Only Embers. For a limited time, the Dodge Sales Drive drives on. Don't drive. Ooh, ooh, right now. So hurry to your Dodge dealer now and still own Shadow America for only $69.84 thanks to a thousand cash back. Drive it. Still 500 cash back on Caravan, and you can get air at no extra charge. Drive it right now. Still up to 2,000 cash back on select Dodge trucks and package savings up to 2683. Don't drive. Hurry, time is running out. If you're just tuning in, we are in the middle of a frozen fable. In less than 15 minutes, the Winter Carnival Ice Palace will be brought to life with a spectacular lighting and fireworks show, and you'll see it live right here on CARE 11 TV. Right now, we're going to jump back out to the crowd with Asha Blake. She's out there somewhere. Asha? Yep, Paul, the crowd is getting larger and larger, and we managed to sneak down a little bit closer. It's not easy at all to do. We kind of pushed our way through. They're doing the bouncing girl right over there. Oh, you can't see it. Oh, maybe you can. Lane can get a shot. Well, she's down right now, <laughs> but believe me, she is bouncing. Um, I got to tell you, it has not been easy for people to get a look at this ice palace. We spent the day, I was with photographer Regina McCombs, and we were just traveling around trying to get a shot. It wasn't easy. People were trying to sneak up to the fence. People were trying to stand on the bridge and take a look. They were pretty much trying to do anything they possibly could because it's such a fantastic ice palace. But you know, some people managed to find a way to sneak a peek. It was anything but easy to sneak a peek at the Ice Palace in the making. Most days, onlookers were kept off the site for their own good. Well, it's blocked up wherever you want to go through. And palace security, in attempts to keep traffic moving, shooed fans off the nearest street viewing spot. But that didn't stop creative souls from tossing caution to the chilly wind and trying. You get some people saying they're from Spicer, Minnesota. They want to see where their lake ice is going up at. Oh, those onlookers, they were a crafty lot. We saw different techniques of avoiding security and snapping away at history. There was the I'm from Iowa approach. The cops were a little feisty, yeah, but yeah, it was worth my life. Others said, oh, but I've brought out-of-town guests from Oregon and we've got to get close. It's magnificent, it's huge. It's blue, though. What color did you expect it to be? White. But the best excuse by far to get close to this chunk of ice was this one. One guy today says he's worth the Burt Reynolds crew, which ain't true. So where the heck were the best places to view this ice palace? Well, we investigated and found two of our own. I think I'll have the salmon. And ever in the pursuit of truth and journalism, I sacrificed my bag lunch and joined the North St. Paul Retired Teachers Monthly Luncheon. Hotel management plunked a telescope in La Carousel Restaurant on the 22nd floor. And voila! a safe and warm place to view the Ice Palace. 
And if it works out, I'll send it to the instructor that I had that showed me how to use my camera. <laughs> And the other best view? Well, I wasn't about to check it out in person for you. Yes, the Ramsey County Jail and Sheriff's Office has another great view. Every day we come to work and see progress being made on it, and, uh, and uh, it's just been real enjoyable to watch it go up. And you don't have to fight with security to see it either. <laughs> no, we don't. Well, we had to fight with security a little bit just to get up here. We finally made it up to the Ice Palace. Governor Carlson is speaking right now. And I want to talk to this lady. How did you manage to make it up here so quickly? Oh, I followed my brother-in-law. He's with the trade. Local 49. Oh, connections, huh? Yeah, you bet. Connections. Okay. That's the only way to do it. Back to you. All right, Asha. Thank you very much. You know, some of the palace builders adopted a line from the movie Field of Dreams to describe the crowds expected to come over here and see the Ice Palace. And that, of course, is uh, if you build it, they will come. Two and a half million people are expected to make it down here to Harry Island for a visit, but the only way you can get here is by shuttle bus. Now you can ride and park from uh, Rice Park and several lots on Lafayette from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Signs on I-94 can point the way to those pickup places if you're unfamiliar with the area. The buses will leave every 15 minutes and the ride is free with a winter carnival button. Well, the big moment is getting closer. We're only eight minutes away from the grand lighting ceremony. So uh, in this commercial break, get the children together and practice ooh, ah, ooh. And you know what? In a moment, you'll see the high technology being used to get the palace to glow. But first, another frozen fast pack. Six cheese pizza for $7.99 and get a second for just four bucks more. And don't forget to add your favorite toppings. Check your local yellow pages for the Pizza Hut delivery unit nearest you. You can do it with true value. Upgrade your workshop and your results with all this. The Master Mechanic 19-piece socket and wrench set, just $29.99. And their professional 25-foot power tape, only $8.88, is ergonomically designed. Get more torque for easy turning. The Master Mechanic four-piece power torque screwdriver set is just $7.88 at your local True Value, the neighborhood hardware store with national chain store buying power. On January 12th, a farmer, as though drawn by an irresistible force, drove his truck off the road through a field and into a Pepsi billboard, changing the course of cola history forever. To find out how, watch the big game on January 26th. Hi, I'm Jim, this is a car, and this is Subaru Lack of Pretense Days. What we'd like to do is sell you a good car at a reasonable price. This Loyal wagon has uh, all-wheel drive, AC, a nice AM FM stereo, steering wheel, all for about $1,000 less than one of its closest competitors, Toyota Corolla. I didn't want to say it, but then I, see, now I feel bad. See your Twin City Subaru dealer. Welcome back, everybody, to Harriet Island. Uh, you're looking at the uh, Ice Palace there. You can see it in the right-hand side of your screen. still dark, but very shortly, the lights are going to come on, and you know the wizards of wattage will not use a wand to wield their magic, really. <laughs> That's right. They use electricity pumping through about $1.2 million worth of light equipment brought in for the carnival. You know, over the last few days, the experts have used all of their powers to uh, test their uh, electricity around here. Mm -hmm. And after all, it's the first time anyone has tried to light an ice palace with uh, what are really, I guess, considered laser-like lights. It really should be spectacular. Care 11 photographer Lane Mickelson uh, spent... Well, most of last week here, right up until yesterday, uh, checking things out, keeping his camera rolling, making sure he had videotape of it when the beams finally started coming together. White, red, yellow, cycling, cycling. cycling. This type of lighting has never been done in ice. 
It's always been in rock concerts on those big fancy scaffolds. And all they do is just lower the scaffold, hook them on and run them up and walk away. But we have to figure out everything on how to do it. Coming up. This is 112 feet up in the air. It feels secure to me. It's not, it's not moving in the wind. Whoa! Where'd that come from? <laughs> oh, my God. Dropping down from between the Almost column. a direct hit. Yeah. <laughs> Excluding the control cables. I, we got about three and a half miles. Well, here's your mirror, but check this out. It's got a rotating motor in the back here. Oh, for great. And that sucker can go this way, that way, whatever. 12 points of you. About 4,000 watts. Uh -oh. Now the data flashes are coming on. They go through a self-test. Whoa, now we're having fun. Let me out of here. The magic of electricity, isn't it? Get in, get in. Oh, that's third level. Would you believe that's only 10% of its power? Go outside and look at the corridors to see what it looks like. OK, give me a few minutes. That's one fixture right now, and there's 402 in the whole castle now. These are very bright, and there are going to be a total of 76 of these. You will not believe how bright it's going to be. They're going to have to tell the St. Paul Airport that this is not the landing field. You might have Paul Majors tell the people to, it wouldn't be a bad idea to have your sunglasses in your shirt pocket. And, Even at night? At, at night. It's going to be fun. Well, the Wizards of Wattage are about to begin their prestidigitation. Whoa, die. You like that? Whoa, give me five. <laughs> All right. <laughs> One last look at the uh, palace lighting countdown clock shows that we're only Two minutes away from the big ceremony. We'll bring it to you live as soon as this commercial break is over. We have one last frozen fact for you, however. Discover Menard's huge selection of paneling and redecorate for less. Choose from more than 80 panels in stock and many decorator patterns. Abitibi quarter-inch Ridgewood paneling is now just $4.99 a sheet. And remember Menard's for light bulbs. You'll find bulbs for almost every lighting need. Sylvania two-pack soft white bulbs are just 39 cents after mail-in rebate. Save on brand name quality every day at Menard's. Save big money at Menard's. Weight Watchers presents the new Ultimate 200s. 11 totally indulgent, outrageous entrees. Each just 200 calories or less from Weight Watchers. Total indulgence, zero guilt, yeah! Sir, what if now at Perkins you could have one of three huge omelets for only $3.99? I'd say that sounds pretty good. And what if you could have that omelet plus these crispy hash browns still for only $3.99? Hey, you guys are pretty generous. And what if you could have the omelet, the hash browns, and these gorgeous pancakes still for $3.99? I'd say you guys are void of any business acumen whatsoever. Huh? You're going to go belly up. But, sir, it's only for a limited time. What, you got a limited brain? How are you going to send your kids to college? Hi. Rainbow Foods and Visual Motivation welcome the 100 lucky rainbow winners who will enjoy this fabulous Super Bowl Ice Palace tent gating party. All made possible by simply watching the TV screens located throughout each Rainbow store. Special thanks to all the manufacturers who feature their products on in-store TV. See the product specials and customer involvement promotions on Rainbow TV. Can you afford not to? Welcome back, everybody, to our Fort Frozen Fable. The big moment has arrived. The palace is about to be brought to life with lights. That's right. Let's just go to the main stage right now to watch what's happening. The switch is about to be thrown. Nick Siri. In case you didn't hear, that's the chairman. It's wonderful to see all of you here tonight. This is the culmination of about two and a half years of work by up to about two 
2,500 volunteers here in St. Paul and elsewhere. There are people across the Pacific who tell us that there are lazy Americans, and I don't see any lazy Americans here tonight. There have been times during the past 220 years when nations have doubted the resourcefulness and the tenacity and the determination of the American people, and those people have repeatedly and consistently been proven wrong. Do not be surprised if these Americans, these Minnesotans, these St. Paulites have the ability and the determination to build a 166 foot high ice palace, 220 feet wide. We are most pleased to have all of you here tonight. Welcome to the Winter Carnival, welcome to the Super Bowl. This is Minnesota, this is St. Paul, and this is the Winter Carnival. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dick. When we started out this project, our goal was to build a castle 150 feet high. Through the efforts of the St. Paul Building Trades, we exceeded that goal, 265 feet. It's my pleasure to introduce the Executive Secretary of the St. Paul Building Trades, Mr. Dick Angfang. Thank you very much, John. I'm extremely proud and humbled at the same time to be able to stand here and represent some of the finest construction workers in all of America. I'd like to take this opportunity to, to thank the wonderful sponsors. Without them, uh, we wouldn't be here today. It takes a lot more than sweat and hard work. It takes a little dull, and we thank you very much. To all of the men and women who have worked 10-hour days, seven days a week, for over six weeks, and for that effort received half their normal wage, I think you guys did, and gals did a great job. In doing so, you were away from your homes and your families all day long, some of you all night long. A lot of things had to be set aside at home. All of the people, you didn't have to make that sacrifice, but you did. And all of the people that will come and view this magnificent structure are going to appreciate it. All along, from the very beginning, the construction manager, Tom Keller, understood what he needed to complete this structure on time. He needed good ice, he needed good sponsors, and he needed AFL, CIO, union building and construction trades workers. Okay. They are the very best. You got it done. It's up. Let's have some fun. Thank you. We were very fortunate in this project that we had a great partner. And that's what it takes to be able to build a palace like this. A company that knew their corporate responsibilities and their participation in the community was important. And we appreciate that and always will. It's my pleasure to introduce Mr. Carl Sandberg, Vice President of Pepsi. Thank you, John. Thank you. As impressive as this castle is, so is this crowd out here tonight. There's an estimated 150,000 of you. I think that is absolutely terrific. You know, on behalf of the Pepsi-Cola company and all the Pepsi-Cola employees here in the state of Minnesota, we are very delighted to have helped make the Pepsi Ice Palace a possibility. You know, for us at Pepsi, it's a way to give back to all of you, the residents of this great state, for making us, give you back something for making us the number one choice in the state. Thank you. I'd also, 
I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank the St. Paul Building Trades Council for without their fine effort, the Pepsi Ice Palace would not have been a possibility. Thank you. Also, I invite all of you as you attend the St. Paul Winter Carnival and the Pepsi Ice Palace to visit the Pepsi Museum uh, at the Pepsi Tent. And obviously, Minnesota, you've got the right one, baby, huh? With Pepsi, yeah! Thank you, Carl. Are we ready to light an ice palace? <laughs> Governor? We're gonna need some help on the countdown. Are you all ready to help me? Okay, let's start out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. They had mentioned uh, that as they threw the switch, there was about a 30 second delay for these laser lights to take over. And that's what we're waiting for. The lights inside to crank up. A bit of a disappointment for everybody who didn't hear that message from the podium prior to the switch being thrown. Just off to the left of the ice palace, uh, we do somebody, see... Somebody from the crowd just yelled to me, did you get that on tape? <laughs> yeah. They said Here about 30 comes. seconds. I assume we're at about that point right now. Folks, I'm sure it's coming, but so far this is about as uh, climactic as most Super Bowls. Here we go. Yeah, the lasers are warming up now. Through the tops, we can see them.
okay, we're here. Let's go out into the crowd right now and get some reaction from some of the folks out there. Well, Paul, there's a lot of, there's a lot of toe tap, a lot of hand wave, a lot of shaking down here. And we've got Conde K with me. What do you think, Kay? It's beautiful. This is wonderful. I'm going, I'm already having so much fun. This is well, this, gorgeous. This is what we've been waiting for. The last, honey, we got a Super Bowl, a Super Palace, and a Super Kate to match. Every Minnesota. Okay, well, I don't know. Does it get any better than that? Everybody just kind of dancing around here. This young gentleman's been here for hours. Yeah. Okay, what do you think? It's awesome. Totally awesome. Totally awesome. What? Totally awesome. Yeah. Okay, let's see if things are as awesome where Melissa is. Mel. Well, that's right, Ash. I'm here now. Amy, you said that you weren't here for the 86 Palace, but you've been waiting here a while. What do you think of all this? I think this is beautiful. Yeah. I like this. Is it what you expected it to be? I know there's been a lot I of I never knew what to expect, so it's, it's quite a surprise, and I like it. Yeah. Okay, now we've got some other folks over here. Now, these people have a special perspective. They were mittens in the parade. Now, I know you guys have been working really hard to get here. Come on all over here now. Tell me what, uh, you've been waiting out here all this time. You marched in the parade. What do you think now? It's great. We're just enjoying the lights. Yeah. Now, now, who said that they had seen the last palace? I did. You did. What do you, what do you think compared to the last one? It's much better. It's yeah. a lot bigger. Yeah. And how about you folks? Is this what you expected? I had never seen one before, so it's really neat. Looks real good. I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Back to you, Paul and Diane. All right, Mel. Thank you very much. Let's take another look at the palace. Let's turn to that right now. You know, uh, as good as our technicians are and as good as television is, it's still only two-dimensional. And I would encourage everybody at home, really, to come down here to Harriet Island, particularly at night, because I'm telling you, this is truly a fantastic light it show. It really is. <laughs> I, I've never seen anything like this. There just aren't enough adjectives to describe seeing this in person. Mm -hmm. It really pops out at you. The music's marvelous. The lighting's marvelous. The palette itself is a, is a truly amazing structure, a real... A real testament to the ability of the people that got together and put this thing up. That's right. A big salute to all the construction workers and technicians that put this together. But the laser show is just incredible. I love the music. <laughs> Listening to In the Mood and everything else that we've had tonight. That's great. The crowd is really not moving at all. Everybody's eyes are absolutely riveted on the Ice Palace itself. Everybody's, I think, really stunned by how fantastic this whole thing has turned out. Paris music going on in the background. Well, we'd like to thank all of you who tuned in to join us for the lighting of the Ice Palace tonight. Why don't, in fact, why don't we cut back to the palace itself? It really is an night. incredible shot. But uh, again, thank you for joining us. And uh, we ran a little long tonight, so we're going to join NBC in progress as we leave you with a final look at the Ice Palace. We encourage you to come down and see it in person. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching A Frozen Fable, The Lighting of the Palace. This Care 11 News Special has been brought to you in part by Menards, your complete home improvement headquarters.
by Visual Motivation and Rainbow In-Store TV, your in-store television source. And by Weight Watchers, total indulgence, zero guilt.